Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy the largest hands-on RV training academy in America. All right, in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and cover some of the questions that we have, and that is managing the condensation inside the RV. Now, first and foremost, I have covered some of this before. Go ahead and click here for the video on condensation. <laughs> See if you can find that. But what I'm gonna do is also bring in some other ideas. I've got some wonderful friends out there, and we're gonna collab together, all right? So let's look at the topics for condensation. Now, down and simple, right? Let's say you're in an area where it's, it's cold, right? The colder it gets outside, depending on where you are, the less condensation or the less vapors you have outside, but you still got a lot of moisture inside the RV. How do you get that moisture that is inside the RV outside? Nice cold weather outside, you don't have much condensation outside or you don't have much humidity outside. Let me go ahead and bring on Turn It Up World. That's Dave and Tanya. Let's listen to their tips on how to get that condensation out. Hi, this is Dave and Tanya from Let's Turn It Up World and our tip for dealing with RV condensation. We have a small rig, it's a four season rig, a Winnebago Echo, and we do a lot of winter camping, which can actually be very challenging from a condensation standpoint. So in addition to using a dehumidifier, we'll actually crack open just slightly our, our Max Air fan, just like this, just by hand. Crank it up just a little bit because you want to get a little bit of airflow coming out. So as we kind of build up all this condensation, you want that flow to come right out to the max air vent. And we'll also have a fan that will blow the air up as well to kind of keep that flow going in the rig. Okay, so let's say now you want to look at maybe getting a dehumidifier. What, who, where, how? All right, let me go ahead and bring on Charity and Ben from Grateful Glamper and they'll give us their tip. So I am Charity with Grateful Glamper and our best tip on managing condensation in the RV when you are camping in those colder climates is this little dehumidifier. So we actually purchased this last year because we were struggling with some condensation in our RV here in the Florida area during the Tampa Super Show. And so we got this little unit and it does a great job with dehumidifying the air and keeping that condensation off of windows and walls and things like that and this was on Amazon I want to say it was like 20 bucks so super inexpensive way to manage that condensation now for whatever reason your mattress is wet you've been somewhere where it's so stinking humid right and you start concerned about all that humidity getting stuck into your mattress let me go ahead and bring on Chris and Martha from venturesome couple to talk about the den drive we want to give you a quick tip about moisture control in your RV that's right, humidity is a problem, especially for those of us that like to hang out in the south. Yeah, so what we do is we put a dendry underneath our mattress in our RV. You're probably wondering, what's a dendry? Well, it's a mat that we roll out that goes in between the mattress and the bed. And it's the base of the bed particularly, and it creates a barrier between the mattress that allows air to get in there so that your mattress doesn't sweat and you don't end up with mold. Let me show you what it looks like. And this is the dendry. Like I said, it's a mat that you roll out. We screwed it down. What it does is it keeps these rigid little pieces here that allows air to get underneath. It keeps the mattress from getting moisture and it keeps the bed from getting moisture. It makes sure that no mold grows in our RV. So if you're traveling, this is an absolute must no matter where you go. It was really easy to install. Like Chris said, we rolled it out. We screwed it down to the bed frame and we cut around it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So we are Chris. And Martha. And we're the Venturesome Couple. Thank you guys so much for watching our tip. There's your tech tips. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just wanna learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reason that you're out there in the video, Roll the bloopers. Well, let me go ahead and bring on. What's her names again? All right, let me go ahead and bring on. <laughs> What's their names? Dave and Tanya. Bamo. Boom, boom, boom. And then at the end, 